Welcome to the CMO Spotlight, and I'm here with Kevin Thompson. And Kevin is the Chief Marketing Officer for Grace de Monaco, Princess Grace Foundation USA, and Grace Influential. You have to pay attention to the details. You have to, and, and things matter in the marketing space that some that other people might not consider, or you know, on the business side, they might think are less important. And sometimes it just takes an ex takes a moment to pause and have a conversation about it. The other piece of advice I think would be to you know to be mindful about aligning with certain egos in, in the in the marketplace. When I need to, I can sort of cut through the noise. So I think being able to cut through the noise and not waste time and sort of get to the point of what needs to be done is probably it. The first place is her legacy. I learned the story of how she was involved in the creation of the Gucci Flora pattern. And most people don't know that story. And I was always kind of amazed by that. I thought it's such an incredible story that like Princess Grace was invited to come in by Aldo Gucci to work with the designers. And it, it's mentioned in the movie at the House of Gucci, but they don't pay, they don't pay, they don't tell the, the full story, but the scarf is there. So when the call came and they said, oh, would you be interested? I thought, well, this is a really lovely full circle moment that I'm gonna be, you know, that I've been telling stories about her for over a decade because everywhere I went after that and I would talk about the importance of storytelling and the importance of that, the, the, the impact that can have on brand value and, and the ability for it to drive business when you do it well is extraordinary. So I'd been telling these stories over and over and over again. And I thought, wow, then now that now this is interesting because just how remarkable an individual she was. And it's amazing to me all the time. I'm consistently in awe of what she did and the impact she had on whole communities. She played by the rules, but she still got what she wanted done. And, you know, the Monaco of today wouldn't be, wouldn't look or feel like it does if it wasn't for her. I just want everybody to try as hard as you can. That's the thing that matters the most to me. If we've tried as hard as we could, and we've been, you know, as thoughtful as we could, and we've done things to the best of our ability, then that's really the best you can do. The first one that where I really saw something very important and meaningful being done via a marketing campaign was when I was at Barney's New York. We did an entire season's campaign from the brand perspective using uh, transgender models. The images were all, they were black and white images. They were stunning. I have some framed and hanging in my house. And they were sent out as almost like an art, a portfolio rather than a magazine or a, a, like a lookbook. And on the backs of each of the images, the models were asked to tell their story of transitioning or something that was sort of relevant and meaningful. And we went out to the stores and, and we, we trained sales associates because we wanted them to think about language they were using and how to approach people and, and have it be this very open and, and inclusive and welcoming environment. And it was not easy. This was at the very early of, of the modern conversation that's having around transgender rights and equality, um, I think was very early on. And I saw people struggle and I saw people thinking about you know, assumptions they had made and biases they had and all of those things. And I thought, well, this is amazing. I mean, this went back to like my teacher uh, roots because I thought, they re through this marketing campaign that on the surface might seem quite superficial, it just in passing, if you didn't bother to read the stories on the backs of the images, that was going to make a difference, a real difference in people's lives. And I thought that was incredibly meaningful. So I've carried that forward. And I saw how passionate our CEO, how, Mar how Mark Lee really cared about that at the time. And I thought, this is very, very cool. And this is sort of this is something that I want to do more of. I think on the flip side, it was one of the campaigns uh, when I was at Sotheby's international realty and we had launched you know this idea of living the brand and like all of that made sense to me i sort of brought that this idea of brand as lifestyle and sotheby's and people who are buying sotheby's homes really aspire to live a sotheby's lifestyle in a way that they don't with other real estate brands and we did a campaign that was kind of rooted in fashion and there were some short videos that we did for a huge global networking event in Vancouver. They were fabulous videos. They were really gorgeous. And we opened the event with them and they were kind of jaw-droppingly luxe. I felt a lot of people kind of scratching their heads and being like, really? really? <laughs> we're real estate agents. And it's not that they didn't like them or think that they were beautiful. They had trouble connecting how to use them effectively in the work that they were doing. And I think maybe I jumped the gun. I think maybe it was a little bit too fast because 
I was trying to wrap my arm, arms around 23,000 agents and take them on this journey of transition with me. And I probably moved a little too quickly. So my favorite musical artist is Tina Turner and has been for like a really, really long time. And I think what, of course, it's this idea of challenging adversary, ad adversity and, and coming up through horrendous circumstances and all the while creating incredible things and doing it in what she did, no one else has done, nobody. Nobody has done it that way. Nobody, like I think there are lots of other people who you can say, oh, she's very similar to this or that artist, he's very similar to that artist. There just isn't anyone like that. And I think it's something amazing that she got knocked down so many times and came from you know this enormously challenging place and was just unceasingly remarkable about yeah. what she did all the time. And I think that there's something really admirable about how her approach was she worked hard. Even when she was mega famous, she was yeah. still working really hard. My team would say they know exactly what I'm gonna say, so it would be Tom Ford. I think what he does in fashion is art. And, you know, when his pieces would come in, like pieces from his past collections would come in for repairs, we would go, I would go down to the to the, the tailor studio and just, just to see it, just to look at, because they yeah. were incredible. They were incredible. Their fashion was like sculpture and art for him. And I, even the, his latest show blew my socks off. I, you know, I think it was the most remarkable of, of any of the shows this past season, because he just has this unceasing desire to be luxurious and over and make you feel sexy and over the top. And I, I love it. I love it.